and just new shape to x and shape to x let's drag these things to make them visible so that it's going to refresh every time we're moving we're refreshing this so you have here the values let's see if this is happening you have x you have now we can compare this with the shape x position you select here x and then you just move 75 75 85 so they are the same okay so now this is good because you have here these variables in real time well now so we go here to this guy so now when we press the a key now we are going to run a loop so we are going to run a loop but we are going to run the loop not forever we are going to repeat this loop until we collide with insects or with the top okay, okay. so how to do that well we go to sensing sensing and then we are going to select uh, in this case enemy repeat until you touch enemy or or if we get to this limit to this edge so probably we can create a new variable for this so probably we can drag here the edge as we did with the other ones so let me just stop that one and we are going to insert this one but it's not complete so we are going to create a new object we are going to paint new object then we just here so let's use this again and this new object let's paint it like uh, blue just to see it right now I'm just painting in bitmap mode okay so but if you check it's quite the same thing right now but I prefer vector okay so you have this one then you press in here the brush just to see where is it so now let's check the position I guess that's okay but now we need to move it just to adjust a little bit down and that's it so we have this I uh, think and we're going to call it top top edge here just display this top edge now uh, what's next so we are going to tell uh, we were here in the bullet uh, bullet we are going to change the name bullet and bullet we close this thing if we touch the enemy or 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 sensing um, or we touch the top edge so we are going to repeat this loop until we touch any of these things or the enemy or the top edge so in that case if we have this situation okay so uh, uh, we are going to uh, show the bullet look show the ball so we're we're going to show the bullet when we click a until we touch the enemy or touch the top uh, the top edge okay so if we touch any of these we are going to not uh, run this block inside these blocks inside okay then we're going to change so we're going to change the position in y change the position in y by 10 because positive goes up yes okay now that is another thing we need to check here before we mm, fire the bullet we need to tell it hey you know I want you to get to this position so in this case the X position it has to be the position of the shape that we created in the variable and the Y that is not changing okay so now uh, basically that is the idea so now let's see uh, what's happening right now we have this we press we move this guy we press a and we have a bullet that is just stuck over there but check the position 
So it is not right, properly aligned. So we go here, and I guess we can go here. And we are going to move it here. Just touch it. Let's see if this works. Now, if I press A, yes, it looks better. So I just align using this painter thing. I like that. But now check, my bullet stays there. So I want to disappear my bullet. Okay, so I'm going to show the bullet just until I collide. If I collide, I want to hide it. That's it. So if I go here with an insect, I disappear that one, but also I want to disappear the enemies, okay? So how to do that? Well, uh, I guess we are low, like getting the idea. So what to do? Well, I guess we need to create a message, okay? We need to create a message. So you, to tell uh, the insects, hey, I collide with you. Now disappear. So it's something like that. So we are going to create here in events and we are going to broadcast that it's sending a message. We are going to create a new message and we are going to uh, write here bullet collides, collided, or collides. That's it. So we are going to drag this thing in here. So we can go here, we send the message and then we disappear. So now we need to tell the insects what to do now when we receive this message that is bullet collides. So we go here to the insect and then when bullet collides, okay, when you receive, uh, when I receive bullet collides, let's make it smaller, let's drag these guys. And that's it. So when bullet collides, okay, what it's going to happen? So well, first we are going to check if if we are touching, if we are responsible, because the bullet just is telling us, hey, I am colliding with something. So now the bullet it's telling us that. Okay, so we need to get a uh, if we are touching the bullet. If we are touching the bullet, then we are going to uh, hide. We are going to hide the insects. Okay, and let's see what's happening right now. So we press in here. I press A and it's not happening well we need to modify something because probably we are hitting a clone so clones need something special so we click here in uh, controls and then you go for clones and then you have a block that it says when i start as a clone or create a clone of myself or delete this clone so we're going to use when i start as a clone and we're going to add the same condition. We're going to duplicate this one. When I start as a clone, if I am touching the bullet, so instead of hide, we're going to destroy this guy. So delete this clone. Now let's see what happens right now. If it's working, if not. It's not working. Probably because the bullet it is like hiding before that. So let's change this one. Let's press this. Let's press the space bar. Let's wait. Yes. You know what? First we destroy and then we disappear the bullet. To do that, we are going to tell the the bullet, hey, now you can disappear because I disappear. 
So basically that is the idea, it is like communicating. So we are going to broadcast another message and that we are going to call it a broadcast and we are going to call this message uh, and it will say, you know what? New message. Uh, disappear bullet or delete bullet delete bullet and then the bullet I we, it's going to receive this message when this bullet receives the message when I receive delete bullet we are going to hide the bullet so let's see if this is happening this way we press the star and it's not like that so let's see what's happening again when I receive delete bullet we're going to uh, hide so probably um, we're going to hide we're going to show and we're going to this so let's go again to the insect um, we're going to change if broadcast uh, in this case so when I receive this we're going to use this uh, here inside bullet collides if we are touching this we're going to use broadcast delete bullet again inside the other inside the sprite the main sprite and inside the clones so we're going to select delete bullet so now let's see if this is fixing if not well, we have to continue with the tutorial yes that's it but now if we go to the top the bullet stays there so now we need to do something 